Hello you golf legends, welcome to another dose of Top Bloke where I just sit in front of the camera and just basically talk a load of old rubbish. Anyways, a few weeks back, I made a video about Mark Crossfield and how he had fallen from the world of YouTube rankings. And don't get me wrong, he's doing, doing really well for himself. He's driving around in an electric Tesla, saving the planet. But my little joke is that um, Rick Shields has got a Tesla as well, but he just gives it to the nanny to take the kids back and forwards in private school. Uh, so there's a big difference, you know, in, in their status where Rick Shields is like a multi-millionaire now, I should assume. Although he does have to give a third of his wages to Performance 54, but he's still doing, you know, doing well. With Crossy, you know, he was on top of the world. And But one thing I didn't touch upon was the absence of Coach Lockie, who was an integral part of his channel, you know. And all of a sudden, if you go, if you go and watch Crossy now... He's hardly on it, he's, well, if, if at all. Maybe one in ten videos he's going to make an appearance. So we all knew that Coach Lockie started up his own channel. And I'm guessing when they was going well together that part of their contract was that he was not to have his own channel. But now, now that all seems to have fallen apart, Coach Lockie has gone off and done his own thing. Crossy's doing his own thing. Now, Crossy is doing... Probably to his surprise is doing blooming well. Like his videos, viewerships shut up because he's gone back to doing what he does best. Talking about golf instruction. So he's basically doing all right for himself. He's in his studio eating balls against the projector. And he's getting he's doing pretty well for himself. Where Coach Lockie has gone back to teaching. Now, I should imagine that the happiest days of any of these YouTubers lives is if they don't have to teach anymore. I mean, can you imagine every day teaching stupid people, old grannies and old farts and kids that not interested. Peter Finch don't teach anymore. Rick Shields don't teach anymore. They're making so much money on YouTube. They don't have to do that. But coach Lockie has gone back to teaching, albeit online. There's an app called Skillist. I think it's called. And uh, Coach Lockie's on there. You can book an online lesson with Coach Lockie. It's $300. Comment down below. Would you have a lesson with Coach Lockie? $300. Anyway, the point is that they're doing their own thing now. Now, I'm guessing they ain't, they're not getting the money. There's a, there's a few things that have happened, isn't there? There's your golf travel, no longer involved. Rory is no longer involved with your golf travel. That was like the main hub of their channel, wasn't it? They was going around all over the world, playing lovely golf courses. And uh, that's gone. That's a shocker to their channel. That was like, can you imagine that? What what else are we going to do? They've had to, they've had to have a, a meeting. I'm sure it's amicable. I think they still share the same studio. I think they put... Both put in the same amount of money for the studio. That must have cost a few bob. Because it looks like the studio that Coach Lockie uses is the same as what Crossy uses. So, and the other thing, that they've got a failed business. Do you remember when, not long ago, and this is one of the reasons why he lost a lot of interest from his uh, subscribers. Which, remember when Crossy used to bang on about statistics and strokes Gains and all that complicated stuff, and it just lost people. Like I, I watched a few, and I was going, "What's he all about?" But the reason why I did that because they were starting up a company called My Gains Golf, where it, I, I, I assume that Crossy thought he was being clever because it was based on your rounds of golf, your statistics when you got one of those shot scope watches or whatever. And, he'd, and he would get all the information and the data and he would tell you where you're going wrong. And it just didn't take off. If you go on company's house, it didn't take any money. So that's a failed business. And it must have cost a few bob to set up the website and they got some geezer on board. So I think really Coach Lockie has come off it a lot worse than Crossy because Crossy's views on his videos have improved. 
Whereas Coach Lockie has got has gone back to teaching and coaching. So anyway, so comment down below. What do you think happened? Do you think they're still friends? Do you think they have to be friends because they're still sharing equipment? I don't know. Anyways, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumb it down. And uh, I'll talk to you later.